Hello and welcome uh, to another tutorial for Geonode. Uh, I, would, I would want to start by thanking you guys for uh, supporting my channel uh, through likes and uh, sharing. And uh, I, I would urge for those who have not uh, subscribed, subscribe. Uh, it comes in handy and it supports uh, my channel. So in this tutorial, we are going to look at uh, how we are going to customize uh, the look and feel for Geonode. Uh, within the next maybe couple of videos. Uh, we looked at how to deploy Geonode uh, in both our Windows and Linux operating systems. And uh, I've gotten a positive feedback. Uh, so we are going to see how we can try to change uh, the logo uh, and also the, the banner for the Geonode that is well known as the Jumbotron in this video. So let's hop in and uh, we begin. So we will continue from where we left last time. After doing our deployment, I'm still using the instance that I had uh, installed uh, in Windows, and I'm using the WSL, or the Windows Subsystem for Linux. So I will uh, start my uh, the Windows terminal, and you see I have my options here. I've just right-clicked it from my, uh, from my uh, command uh, taskbar. Alternatively, you can just open the terminal. Uh, yeah, so it is. So I'll just select Ubuntu because I'm really interested in Ubuntu. So, so I'll click on Ubuntu and it will uh, directly go into the Ubuntu. Uh, these are the options that we had seen in the last, uh, in our previous tutorial. So let's say that we have just started your computer. You have you had already installed Geonode. Uh, one thing for you to to, to run Geonode, uh, it is using Docker. So Docker must be running. And uh, as a first step, uh, we will check if the Docker service is running by uh, typing in this command. I'll check the status, and then it will request me for my password. And it tells me that Docker is running. So in the event that Docker is not running, you will just use the same the similar command, but you add a start. So, so since Docker is running, uh, you should uh, be you should know where you had installed your Geonode. Uh, and in my case, I know that it is uh, somewhere in this folder. So it is uh, I use the default setting from the documentation. So it is in this folder that's called my Geonode. Uh, this is a template project that we used uh, to, to create these, the actual uh, project, which is my Geonode. Probably if you named yours uh, in another name, then you may have to search for it. So I'll navigate into this folder and I'll just confirm the files that we have here. And among them, we have uh, this file that's called Docker Compose. Uh, .yml. So this has the uh, instructions for the container, starting the containers and stopping the containers. So as a first step, I will check whether the con uh, there are any containers that are running using this command for docker ps. And it, uh, there is no container that is running because otherwise there would have been a list here of the containers uh, that are, are running. So what I'll do, I'll immediately just start using docker compose uh, docker compose up and then i'll add a dash and d for detached mode i want it to continue to keep on running so yeah so it has created this volume so uh, in my initial case i had i had uh, stopped it completely and i had also removed the uh, the volume so it has started uh, but it will take some few minutes, especially for the Django container, for, uh, because it has to do some internal processes. So you may encounter when you open your browser and you navigate to localhost, you'll realize that it will uh, show these uh, the error HTTP uh, error 502. So you should give it some time. But you can also monitor using the, the, I think I have the, yeah, I have this command, which is in the history, docker logs uh, f django. 
So until at a point where it will show us that it has set the UWSGI setting, that's when we know that uh, you can access. And if you're using Chrome or Edge browser, it should refresh and just open, uh, show the, the default GeoNode page. So I will uh, fast forward the, this tutorial up to a point where it has uh, started, but it should not take a lot of minutes. Yeah, so one thing to note is that uh, now it has, uh, it has, uh, there's this uh, command or there's this log that shows that it has uh, gotten the configuration, the setting configuration setting for UWSGI. So this one, should uh, be your indicator. If you see, if it has reached up to this point, then you can be able to uh, refresh our page and we will see the default uh, GeoNode. So uh, before we continue, there's also something else I wanted to show you. If you want to exit this log, you can just uh, type uh, Control C in your keyboard. Then you can just, uh, let's clear the screen. So if you are, if you are, uh, you are not, Rather, if you do not like using these terminal or as it is here, then you may have you may install uh, Visual Studio Code and uh, to use it inside WSL. If you have already installed Visual Studio Code, then you can just type the code command and a dot, so it will open inside this folder, inside the current folder that you are in. So. Uh, if you, I'll, I'll share the link for installing uh, Visual Studio Code, and they also have a video uh, for installing Visual Studio Code in uh, Windows. Uh, you can also refer to that. I'm going to share the, those links. So I've typed code and a dot, and I've clicked enter, and uh, it has opened the Visual Studio Code. And now these are the files that uh, constitute the GeoNode. Uh, so you can be able to, you know, like to open these UWSGI and you see the, the details. And uh, you can also change some configurations uh, here as well. Yeah, so it provides at least a better friendlier user interface for those who are not familiar with uh, using the terminal, uh, like the Nano and the Vim uh, editors uh, inside the terminal. So, so I'll just close this since uh, I'm not using it. So uh, one thing also to check is that you can check that your containers are running using the Docker Compose. Uh, Docker, not Docker Compose, but Docker Space and uh, PS. So these are the containers that are running. We have the project itself. We have the Django project for Geonode. We have the GeoServer container, RabbitMQ for the queuing services. Jenkins for the CICD, and uh, we have the Let's Encrypt for HTTPS if you are deploying in a public server, though I'm using a, a, in a local computer. Then we have the, the database, which is PostGIS, and the Nginx that serves the, uh, the, the project on, the, on this browser. So we'll jump into logging in. We have to log in first, and the default username and uh, password is uh, admin and password is admin as well. Uh, but if you are using it in a production environment, you may need to change it. So after we have logged in, there's a message here that shows successfully logged in, although it disappears after some time. And then we have the this, uh, it has changed here. It is showing us the name of the, uh, the, or the, uh, the logged in user, who is admin. And uh, we'll, navigate to admin. So under this admin, there is the administrative, uh, the administrative user interface for Geonode, uh, which is uh, which is based on Django, uh, Django admin, uh, which has been customized. So this, this constitutes all the settings that you can use to change or to customize your Geonode instance. Uh, the, the administrative, this is the administrative dashboard. So we are interested with uh, this particular area, which is Geonode Themes Library. So you, the good thing is that these main items are arranged alphabetically. We have accounts A, A to Z. So we'll just scroll downwards until we're at the place where we have G. And this is Geonode Themes Library. So we are going to click on it. And then 
uh, this is where you administer the themes and the logos and all that that you want to use, and also the partner's uh, logos. So we will be changing the, the logo, the default logo. So I'll take you back to the default page first. Note that it has a default GeoNode logo. So this is what we want to change first. So I'll just scroll back and I'll click on themes. And then there are no themes currently. So we have it here zero total. And then we have this button here that is written add GeoNode theme customization. So we'll click on it. And then uh, I can just call it uh, custom theme and then I can just say maybe add some description my custom theme but you can add uh, whichever description maybe for your organization and then we have this checkbox here that is telling us uh, enabling this will disable the current enabled theme if there is any so we'll check it so that it is enabled and then we'll change the logo so I had created some logo here uh, so I'll use it, I'll use this logo. So I'll, I've, I've clicked on it and it is now showing besides the button. Sorry, I have to ensure. So you see it has, we have sample logo next to the button. And uh, we also have the welcome theme. So we're not going to change anything else for now. So I'm going to scroll downwards to the bottom and there's a button here that is uh, on the bottom right that is uh, saying save. So I'll click on it. And once I've saved, uh, we, we can see that it is enabled. It shows now the, all the themes that we create, they're going to be displayed here in a list in this uh, table. So I can navigate back to my site using this link here on the right side. So now you see that the logo has, has uh, changed. Yeah. Um, it is not in the best design, but Maybe you as you can design it to have a good uh, width or height so that it can fit in well in the in the navigation bar. So I'll go back to this admin, and next I will be changing the I'll be changing the the banner and uh, the jumbotron. The jumbotron is this area that has this text welcome, this blue box below the navigation bar. So this is a uh, is. Uh, this blue belt here is what you call, we are calling the Jumbotron. And one way to know about it, you can just right click and inspect. You right click on your browser and you click inspect. Uh, let me just return it to. Yeah, so let me expand this. Uh, so we you can click on this button here. And then when you highlight, you'll see that it is showing the, the class for the div. This one it's called the Jumbotron. Yeah, but uh, that, this may be a bit advanced for some of us. So I'll just know that it's called the Jumbotron and uh, we'll go to the admin. Now you'll notice something. We have a recent actions uh, panel here that wasn't there before. So we have these that wasn't there. Because, uh, this is uh, all the actions that I, I intend to do or you do as the admin. Whenever you log in here, it shows the list of those actions if you have not clear them. So instead of just scrolling back again to down here to the GeoNode themes library, I can just click here custom theme. And when I click on the custom theme, you can see that this is the theme that we had chosen. So now the, I'll only change one more thing, which is a Jumbotron background. And I will select, uh, let me select this slide three. There's an image here that I had created. I had designed, I called it slide three. And then there's a, an option, there's a button here that says hide text in the Jumbotron. Although I won't check it, I'll leave it as it, as it was unchecked. Then I will save. Now when I go back to my, to my browser or to my homepage, this is what we see. So we have this background image. But now if you look at it, the design is not uh, well. Uh, for the front end, uh, front end engineer can, uh, you know, uh, can attest to this. this is not a very good design. So what I'll do, I'll try and hide these welcome uh, texts. So I'll go back to the admin as I did before. You notice that now the actions are continuing on populating. So I'll click on 
the same custom theme. And then what I will do, I will hide the text in the jump row. And then I'll check now the checkbox that I have left. So this one will hide the welcome text. So I'll click on save, and then I'll go back to my home page. And this is how it looks like. So yeah, so this is how you change the logo and the uh, Jumbotron image. Yeah, so uh, that is it. That, that is uh, all that we are going to do in this tutorial. Uh, in the next tutorial, we are going to see how we can try and add a slider. So, uh, images that are sliding from probably from left to right uh, on this area for, for the Jumbotron. And uh, for those maybe who are interested in what uh, the text that is here, it is it is in Swahili, Yundombinu Yaramani. It, it simply says uh, map infrastructure. That's what it means uh, in English. And this is a flag of uh, Kenya that I had tried to design together with this image. So that's it and done. Thank you for uh, watching this tutorial. And uh, kindly share this video. Uh, like and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the bell icon for the notifications whenever I upload uh, new content.